Hey, good morning. Uh, sorry guys, I know I've been neglecting you, owed you a couple videos. Um, I've just been busy and haven't had a chance to make any. But anyway, it is July 13th, 2017. And we had a decent little rain yesterday. We had a better one on Monday, but it's uh, Thursday. I had a better one on Monday, but it was still raining in the morning, so I didn't, didn't really want to go out. But um, had a little rain last night. It wasn't raining this morning, so I went out to see if I could um, capture a couple queens. And I went out with four test tubes, and I came back with four queens, as you can see. I will not pronounce the their scientific name because I just simply cannot after all this time, but these are honeypot queens, and there are four of them. I actually had a fifth one, but I dropped the tube as I was going to put it in my pocket, and I found another honeypot queen, so I let that one go because dropped it, spun it around, but she may not survive, so I let her go and wish her the best of luck. But here are uh, the four that I'm going to be introducing to the um, to the family. So, um, guys, it's it was about five o'clock in the morning. Sun just came up. Or sun hadn't come up. It was still um, dawn. So just a little bit of light. I could see what was going on. Went out and in about 15, 20 minutes came up with these four queens. So not a whole lot of effort. Um, the trick is just stand and watch. You know, about this time, five in the morning, at least here in Arizona, you know, it's there's enough light to see. And a lot of times it's just stop walking and just stare at the ground um and you they just start jump you know life just starts jumping out at you you know you, when you're walking you really don't see all the movement but when you just stop and stare for a few minutes you you can really see um you know that there's a lot going on down there and caught these guys these ladies relatively quickly so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in their new home i'll see if uh, see if i can get some good angles and record this for you bear with me i'll be right back Okay, so let's see who the lucky lady is. Let's get this new home. Um, a pick. I mean, they're all getting new homes, but I'm not going to record all of them. I don't have the time, so I'm just going to throw her in there. I'm getting ready for work, so I'm kind of limited in my. Okay, let's get her in there. Just like so. Okay, we are going to let's get that water. I'm gonna zoom in here, let you guys watch, and I'm gonna fill up the water tower. And then ultimately, I'm gonna throw some tape over that, document when I collected her, and I'll quite Quite literally, guys, just leave her alone. And hope she has a very healthy colony. We never know. I I lose. Let's just move this for a second. I lose more than I keep, but you know, it's, it becomes a numbers game. The more I catch, the hopefully the more success I have. She's out in the foraging area right now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna put a little little drop of um, honey in there. Just give her something to probably some honey and sugar water. But yeah, then I'm just gonna tuck her away and leave her alone and let her do her thing. I've probably had uh, most of my success. You know, the last honeypot colony is doing incredibly well. Started in um, a mini hearth and uh, has done great. So I'm gonna probably uh, let's see because you guys want to see the queen, not the. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna put a little. I'm going to put her aside for a second, get the rest of them in their new home. I'm going to put a drop of honey in each one and, um, and let them be for a little bit. I, I am going to try to document, you know, when I caught them, what I'm feeding them and keep better track of it for those of you guys that are, that are catching these queens so I can offer a little bit more information on them. But anyway, I think I'm going to call that a video. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause, put a few of the other ones in there 
their home and just see if there's anything interesting going on. So bear with that, I'll be right back. Okay, so the next one to get her home, I went ahead and already filled the water tower. She is. I've caught enough of these that I could tell you with relatively certainty that this is a honeypot queen. Let's move on to the next one. And these are um, reused mini hearse I've used from past colonies, some successful, some not. But um, several have either died or moved on. So, there is our third. And this is kind of a, a neat little nest. This is a, a forging iron top. I had one queen in here, didn't do very well, but we're gonna give it a go again. I like the idea of this this one. So let's, let's lift her. There we go. And lid and boom all right guys let's see if i can get a better shot of all four of these girls so there you have it let's see here so that was a good day and i wish them the best of success where I found them, they're currently doing a lot of, um, they're building some new homes, so these colonies probably would not have survived where they were in the area that I found them, as they would have a house on top of them in the matter of a month or two. So it's also kind of a bummer for me because my, uh, my search area is starting to minimize as far as where I have been finding these, this particular, um, I'll put some tape on there, where I've been finding this particular species, there's... Uh, less and less um, real estate available to me uh, due to um, due to the houses that are being built. So I'll, I'll find a new place. They're, they're all over the place. It's just uh, so many, def you know, the place I've been finding them is just dis disappearing. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. This was relatively boring. And if you guys enjoy these types of videos, let me know. Thanks.